A young pregnant woman tries to flee the carnage of war in a dystopian period where a totalitarian ruler has gained control of Spain. Mia hides on board a cargo ship inside a shipping container to make her getaway. Mia becomes separated from her husband Nico throughout the procedure and must make every effort to survive after becoming trapped in the ocean. If you are wondering whether Mia survives the challenges in her path and what happens to her baby, here is everything you need to know about the ending of Nowhere. Spoilers ahead. Nowhere follows Mia and Nico, a couple from Spain who live under a totalitarian regime that has taken over the country and neighboring states. The regime brutally murders the dependent population whose society lacks essential resources such as food and water. A pregnant woman, Mia, and Nico plan to flee the country and start a new life in Ireland, away from the regime. The couple pays human traffickers to transport them to a shipyard, where they will escape to Ireland on a ship. However, even before the journey starts, Mia and Nico are separated. While the military of the regime inspects Mia's truck, Nico is directed to another truck. The dictatorship fires on the individuals in the truck when it discovers them there, but Mia is able to flee by hiding under a crate. Mia eventually ends up aboard a ship and finds out that Nico never made it there. Instead, the driver left his truck, leaving him stranded. Nico swears to find his wife and unborn child after learning that Mia's container was knocked off the ship and is currently floating in the water. Mia gives birth to her daughter Noah while she struggles to survive within the container. We also discover Mia and Nico's past during this time. The couple ran a general store in their neighborhood and had another daughter, Yuma. However, Yuma is killed by the regime after she wanders out of the house, and Mia blames herself for her daughter's death. After Noah's birth, Mia fails to contact Nico as her phone's screen is destroyed. Moreover, Nico does not contact Mia and is forced to rely on her wits to protect herself and Noah against the harsh ocean waves. Mia survives with the help of the other passengers' little food and water left in the container. However, she soon runs out of supplies and starves. At the same time, Mia works hard to keep water from entering the container and looks after Noah, telling her daughter stories about her life with Nico. Eventually, Mia is forced to eat the umbilical cord to survive and manages to carve an opening in the container's ceiling. Determined to survive for her daughter's sake, Mia's condition slowly improves and she devises a way to catch fish. Whether Mia and Noah survive in the hostile environment and brutal circumstances form the rest of the plot. Does Mia find Noah? Do Mia and Noah survive? Mia and Noah's life are in jeopardy during the film's last act when their container fills with water, destroying whatever meager resources Mia has gathered. In addition, Mia is hurt, and the mother and daughter must stay alive by occupying the container's roof as they float aimlessly across the ocean. However, Mia rushes to gather her deceased daughter's final memory when she sees a picture of Yuma. Noah's crib escapes the container during the procedure, and the infant floats across the ocean. Mia eventually makes it to her daughter by swimming to her after hearing Noah's cries. While the mother and daughter reunite, the container, their only security, is left behind. As a result, Mia and Noah float in the ocean with only Noah's crib to support them. Soon, Mia runs out of strength and is close to giving up on her survival quest. She thanks Noah for being with her and admits her daughter's presence filled her with courage. However, she can no longer protect her daughter against the harsh ocean waves. Just as Mia is about to give up, she notices seagulls in the sky and deduces they are close to land. As a result, Mia uses the last of Noah's umbilical cord to attract the seagulls, hoping it will also bring the attention of nearby fishers. Finally, a fisherwoman and her family come to Noah's aid. Mia, on the other hand, decides to grow after using all of her remaining strength to shove Noah's cradle in the direction of the ground. As soon as it seemed like there was no hope left, the fisherwoman saved Mia by tying her hand to Noah's crib with a cord. The string serves as a metaphor for the connection between a mother and daughter, just like the umbilical cord does. The loss of Yuma inspires Mia to do whatever it takes to keep her second daughter safe throughout the entire movie. However, Mia is inspired by Noah to persevere in the face of insurmountable circumstances. Noah ends up saving her mother in the end, which makes for an emotional resolution. The film ends with Mia waking up after the fisherwoman performs CPR 
and she realizes she and Noah have reached Ireland. What happened to Nico? How did Yuma die? And the film, Mia's Tale of Survival is balanced by her family tragedies. At the start of her journey, a pregnant Mia is separated from her husband, Nico. It quickly becomes evident that surviving without Nico will be difficult for Mia, especially in her condition. Moreover, when Nico fails to contact Mia for days, it seems like he has abandoned his wife and unborn daughter. However, towards the end, Nico surfaces again, only to add more misery to Mia's already dire circumstances. Ultimately, Nico reveals he was caught sneaking on board a ship, trying to reach Mia. As a result, he is shot and speaks with Mia and Noah with his dying breath. In contrast, the horrible circumstances in which Yuma, Nico and Mia's firstborn daughter, died. Yuma urged her mother to flee the house, as the regime regularly carried out mass killings. Yuma was found and slain by the dictatorship in the five minutes after Mia let her outside. Mia consequently holds herself accountable for her daughter's passing. Throughout her journey, Mia has images of Yuma that underline her guilt and push her to her limits. Furthermore, Mia is even more inspired by Yuma's passing to defend Noah at all means. Because of this, Mia's journey of survival is defined by her own misfortunes, which force her to overcome grief and suffering, in order to protect her infant daughter. It is Mia's fortitude and strength that, in the end, assure both her and Noah's survival.